going on YouTube? It's your boy Knex, otherwise known as Cosmo Next, otherwise known as K Goated. And welcome all my DC Nightwing Robin Batman fanatics. Today we're gonna to be talking about five reasons why my boy Dick Grayson slash Nightwing is better than Bruce Wayne slash Batman. If you're new to the video or the channel, like, comment, subscribe, we're gonna get straight into this like usual. Nightwing is a better team player, leader, and mentor. Batman has never founded a super team. When the Justice League was dragged through time, emergency protocol left behind Batman re-established a replacement Justice League that would exist until the main team returned. In the secondary Justice League, Batman recognized that Dick Grayson was the best to lead the team and he appointed him the leader. This shows that Batman in his infinite wisdom saw that Dick was the worthy leader to follow up Superman's inspirational role as head of the Justice League. This is a role Bruce knows he could never fill, but his student could. And he did. Dick Grayson is in the rare and fortunate position of being a kid sidekick who evolves into a veteran vigilante in his own right. This makes him the better mentor to teen crime fighters who are fresh in the game. While Batman did give Grayson a solid foundation and training as Robin, Dick can now take youngsters under his wing, Nightwing, knowing firsthand about the struggles and stresses of being a young hero. He can take the positive aspects of Batman's rearing while eliminating the negatives he had experienced. Grayson is such a valued mentor that Batman's own son, Damien, admires him more. Number two, Dick gets over events way faster than Bruce. He accepted his parents' death and honored the life they lived instead of dwelling over the death for the rest of his life like Batman. Dick tells his parents death doesn't hurt him as much anymore and he thinks he's brushing off what happened to them. Alfred tells him moving on with one's life and forgetting are two separate things. It is better to celebrate the way someone lived than to be driven by the way they died. It also shows that Bruce's parents death is still what drives him many years later. The clock that leads to the Batcave is the time they died and Bruce visits his parents grave once a week. The Flying Graysons were murdered by the mob, which is what kickstarted Dick Grayson's path to becoming the first Robin. Relating to his pain, Bruce Wayne took Grayson in and gave him an outlet for his thirst for justice as Batman's sidekick. While Bruce is constantly haunted by the unjust death of his parents, Dick grew up and he got over it. That's not to say that Nightwing doesn't care about what happened to his parents or that the tragedy wasn't motivation. However, Nightwing was able to grow from his pain and evolve from it. It's not a weak spot that can be prodded anymore. His demeanor and quest for justice stems from wanting a better future instead of his traumatic childhood past. At number three, we have Dick is way more trusted by his teammates than Batman. In fact, he's respected more than Batman. Bruce Wayne is feared. People trust and love Dick Grayson. He gives them a warm feeling. Batman behaves in a rehearsed, controlled way, but others feel Grayson's warmth and genuine interest in their needs. While Batman has been involved in several big name superhero groups like the Justice League, Grayson is still more likely to get most valuable player honors from his peers. Batman's off-putting personality, independent streak, and insubordination make him hard to work with and he easily gets under the skin of his teammates. Batman usually orders people around and works above or around his allies. This usually achieves the main goal, but Batman's methods instill unnecessary conflict with the group. Batman doesn't have any friends, he has allies. Sure, there are times where he is super friends with Superman and Wonder Woman on occasion, but he never just casually hangs out with his peers or even members of the Bat family. Yet, when Dick Grayson walks into a room, the party cheers. Nightwing's friendship with the rest of the Titans, Outsiders, and the rest of the DCU, both individually and collectively, makes him a healthier person overall. This also makes him a better crime fighter since he has other perspectives to draw from. On top of that, these friendships make Nightwing's allies and teammates fight harder and better due to their emotional investment in him. At number 4, we have Nightwing is a way better athlete. Grayson is a prodigious natural athlete, possessing a peak human level of agility slash acrobatic skills. He is generally regarded as the greatest human acrobat in the DC Universe. And Nightwing is the only human on Earth who can do a quadruple somersault along with his two deceased parents. As the only living Grayson, Grayson was trained not only by his family, but also by the Court of Owls to be a superb warrior and fighter. 
This started by making him the greatest gymnast on earth. And at number five, Nightwing has a better work slash vigilante lifestyle than Batman. Batman never takes a night off and never goes on vacation. Given the other members of the Bat family he trained, you would figure Bruce would take a night off and do a non-crime fighting hobby, but he doesn't. Nightwing doesn't have this issue since he frequently takes time off from punching baddies to go on trips with his friends and socialize. This keeps him refreshed and free from feeling burnt out, making him more effective as a person and a crime fighter. Despite having something of a relationship with the GCPD, Batman isn't exactly a deputized member of law enforcement. He could leave criminals on the steps of City Hall, but since he would never come to court to testify, he must produce evidence. Evidence that can be reasonably obtained through legal measures or given to the police, who would be tasked with coming up with a reasonable excuse. A lot of criminals actually end up being released because actual evidence is either thrown out or non-existent. Batman is a vigilante in every sense of the world, and while he can get the baddies thrown in jail, his actions don't always keep them there. Unlike Nightwing, who is a cop and also a secret agent, Nightwing can have anyone arrested on the spot as long as he switches out of his costume, of course. This is the wrap of the five reasons Nightwing slash Dick Grayson is better than Batman slash Bruce Wayne. Who is your favorite out of two? Do you believe these are all wrong or all facts? Share with a friend and have him comment his opinion and comment your opinion. Let me know just by commenting below, leave a like if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more argumentative videos. And if you have free time, check out this video on my Gotham Knights reaction.